Welcome back to another Megan's Movement Minute with yours truly, Megan the Trainer. So today I'm going to be talking about the Max Lunge. So capital M-A-X, this does not mean maximum or most awesome exercise ever, although it is very close, uh, but it stands for multi-axial. So what that means is that in addition to doing just a regular reverse lunge, you're going to be using all planes of motion crossing multiple axes of rotation. Um, so in order to do that, we'll need a sandbag, so I have my nifty Fifty hand uh, sandbag here. So I'm going to start up nice and tall, pulling the slack out of the sandbag. So from here, I'm going to step back into my reverse lunge as I sweep the bag around that front knee. So as I rise, I'm going to push the floor down. Again, pulling those handles apart. I don't want the bag to push my knee in. So I'm going to keep fighting, pulling apart as I rise. Transition over to the other side. So again, at this bottom position, staying up nice and tall. Tension in the handles. And rise. So here, I'll give you a view from the front end. So big things to watch out for, obviously, is falling. You don't want to let the trunk fall. Again, staying up nice and tall. And then again, as I mentioned before, as we rise, pushing that knee in. So a lot of tension in between the feet to stay nice and solid. So the, ma the max lunge is, one of the, again, one of the big six. Um, so feel free to give it a try. As a more advanced version, per se, um, it can be a form of a kettlebell swing. So lunging back, swinging up, and around. So feel free to give those a try in your next workout, and let us know how it goes. Thanks.